We'll now start a series of videos on integration by substitution, which is a powerful technique used to evaluate integrals. Looking at our integral here, we're not able to find the antiderivative in its current form because it doesn't fit one of the basic integral formulas. But we can integrate this if we use integration by substitution. So let's start with a quick review of how this technique works. We're going to start by choosing a substitution, u equals g of x, where g of x is part of the original integral, and it's usually best to choose the inner part of a composite function, such as the quantity raised to a power. Now this is not always the case, so if you know your derivative formulas, it makes selecting u that much easier. The idea here is once we choose u, we want to compute du equals g prime of x dx for differential u, and we're hoping that g prime of x dx is also part of the original integral. Then we're going to rewrite the integral in terms of the variable u, integrate in terms of u, and then replace u with g of x to obtain an antiderivative in terms of x. And then of course we can always check our answer by differentiating. So again the idea here is we'll let u equal part of the original integral, and then by determining differential u, we're hoping that g prime of x dx will also be part of the original integral, and therefore we can write the integral in terms of u, and the hope is this integral here is much easier to integrate. So let's go back to our example now. Notice we have the quantity x to the fourth minus one raised to the seventh power, so we'll let u equal the inner function of x to the fourth minus one, So we're letting x to the fourth minus one equal u, and now we'll determine differential u, which will be four x to the third times dx. And notice that four x cubed dx is also a part of the integral, so we can replace this with du. So now we'll write this in terms of u, so we'll have the integral of u to the seventh du. So here we'll have u to the eighth divided by eight plus c. And the last step is to rewrite this in terms of x. Since u is equal to x to the fourth minus one, we'll have one eighth times the quantity x to the fourth minus one raised to the eighth plus c. So here's our antiderivative in terms of x by using the technique of substitution. Now one thing I do want to mention is notice how differential u was exactly equal to four x cubed dx, or what was left in the integral. This won't always be the case. Sometimes we'll have to manipulate this equation here to make it match exactly what's in the integral. But this is a nice example of how to perform integration using the technique of substitution. We'll be taking a look at more examples in the next several videos. I hope this was helpful.